Filipechna, you uh, have an interesting mix of childhood heroes, Goran Ivanizovic and Stefan Udberg. They're quite different. Uh, what did you like about both of them? They are. Uh, with Edberg, I liked the, the style he was playing, um, like the serve and volley. I was playing it a lot when I was a junior. I loved just, just watching him. He was, he was uh, moving so smooth, especially at the net. And with Goran, I always loved that, that, that you never knew what's, what's coming up with him. He, got, he can get crazy and throw the rackets around, he can be calm and he's just, uh, yeah, he was just uh, so nuts on the court. It was always, oh, always fun to watch him. I assume you saw the Wimbledon final where he beat Rafter. What are your I memories was, of that? I was, I was there live. I played the junior semi-finals back then and this year. So I was staying there for the finals. I was there the whole Sunday it started raining and then I had to go because I had, to, uh, I had a tournament the next week in, in Germany. But it was just, I mean, my hero playing there, Wimbledon finals, me in the stands, it was uh, just marvelous. You're at a career high ranking of number 44 at the moment. Uh, what, uh, what's going right for you? Oh, I think I'm um, just uh, practicing well. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to work on my game. It uh, works out pretty well the last uh, couple of years now. I think uh, three years back I was like 400, so 350. Now 44. I'm even getting better every every month, and I think I'm. I still have a I still have a chance to, to to get my my ranking a little bit better. Practicing hard and yeah. So it, uh, right now it's just uh, just uh, just a good year for me so far. How would you describe your style of play? You seem to have a game that's suited to all surfaces. Yeah, I mean, I would say my style is different than, than to all the others. I play a, a lot of slides with my backhand, uh, a lot of surf, surf and volley. So, 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 so I try to mix it up and that, that makes me dangerous, I think, on all surfaces. But most likely I like to play the hard court. You won your first title in uh, Vienna last year at age 24. A lot of people were surprised maybe that it had taken you that long to win a title because you're known as one of the, the real talents on the tour. Did it surprise you it had taken that long? No, it didn't surprise that it, that it took so long. I mean, afterwards, I'm really happy that I, that I did it at the age of 24. Um, of course, there were a lot of people saying uh, that I could have done it with 20 or 19 already. But I mean, what happened in the past, I mean, it's, it's gone, you know, you cannot change it. So. I'm just I'm just looking out for, for the future or for the for the present now. I try to, to win one or two more titles for sure. At least may, maybe one this year. Yeah, and I just uh, just try to improve. And then it doesn't matter if you win all the titles with like 28 or with 21, I think. And just finally, uh, I hear you enjoy golf and that you have a handicap in the, the teens. Tell us about the best ever round you played. Have you ever broken 80, for example? I played, uh, I, it's funny because I played my first tournament since like, since I think seven or eight years. I played it last Monday. Um, I won the tournament. I played like 45 points of stable fort. <laughs> played like 45 points of stable fort. Um, I played a round with a nine over par. The best round I played uh, the week before French Open. I played a three over at my at my home club. So it's getting it's getting getting better every season. So right now I'm playing around uh, nine to ten. Yeah, and I try to get under five, and then maybe we see after after my career in tennis. Maybe I maybe I can play some golf.